He's getting bit. We just gotta wait for it to go under, guys. Got him. There we go. What's that? <laughs> I almost did, man. Oh man, look at all this fishing line. Tell you what, there's no uh, end for the trash, that's for sure. That's exactly it, man. I appreciate that. Here we go, more plastic. This looks like an old shotgun shell here. That's interesting. Throw that in the mix. Guys, I need more help. I need more people to help me pick up this stuff. I want to make this place beautiful. I want to make it the, play, the way it's supposed to look so that everybody can enjoy this. The people are local and the people who come in just so they can go fishing or enjoy nature. We need to get it back to a nice place. One guy doing this, it's almost never enough. So let's change the culture out here. Let's pick up our stuff. Let's start making a difference if we can. I really appreciate all the people I've run into over the last month that have been giving me very good encouraging words telling me they've been picking up as well we need more of that it's not even going to come out very easily today because it's mostly fishing line and glass you can hear the glass i mean it's crazy this is the final piece right here it's just the last piece of this fishing pole popped right out there guys i mean i want you just to look at this look at this guys do you see all this that's just ridiculous we are officially good to go now. Let's shut this thing. Guys, if you appreciate the trash pickup, please give this a like. It gives me a little bit of encouragement. Let's get moving with the rest of the video. It's another exciting day here on the river. I'm excited to be out here today. Today, I'm actually gonna be trying something slightly different. So far in the live bait arena, I have used uh, large shiners, medium shiners, large toughies, and now small shiners, but today, um, we're gonna be trying an even smaller species to see how it goes. So let's take a look in here real quick. Let me show you what we're working with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So if you guys see down in there, we've got uh, either medium or small toughies. I actually forgot to ask, but they're basically really, really small toughies, okay? Um, and they're about, I wanna say about an inch long. And the reason I got some smaller toughies today is because even with the large toughies, and I've been catching a lot, the hookup ratio is still about 50%, so I wanna make sure um, that I don't leave any stone unturned here. I wanna make sure that we get the right size dialed in for the for trout. Um, so that's our goal for the day. Now it is overcast. It is 50% chance of rain the rest of the day. Now, the reason I'm still fishing up high uh, by Wilbur Dam is because we're under a flood watch right now, which means that once the Watauga River merges, or I guess, let me rephrase that. Once the Doe River merges with the Watauga River, at that point, everything's pretty much muddy and just kind of flooded, it's nasty. So a lot of times when we're getting a lot of rain, they actually will postpone generation for a few hours just to kind of alleviate and relieve some of that flooding that happens further down river, which means right now I can go out here in my kayak and it's actually quite low and calm. Um, so will I get rained on? Maybe, um, but if the bite's on, I will be here catching fish. So another thing that is exciting about today is I'm gonna be fishing with someone that I have not fished with yet. Um, his name is Chris. He has been a guy that I have been running into on the river uh, constantly. It seems like he's probably out here just as much as I am. Um, and he's also a fan of the channel. He's a subscriber. So um, he reached out to me uh, a few weeks ago. We've been kind of going back and forth. And finally, we're going to make this thing happen. So um, hopefully we'll get into a bunch of fish. Hopefully you guys, you guys will get to see me catch some fish. Chris will hopefully catch some fish. And we'll just have a lot of fun today because that's really what it's all about. So. Um, wish me luck. Let's get out there. Let's catch some fish and uh, see what we can do. All right, people, we've got a drizzle, but me and Chris, we're up here getting ready to work, fishing a barrel, working this current, and uh, we'll see what we do here. Something little smacking them. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I'm waiting for him to go under, but got him. Fish on. Looks like a rainbow. Yeah. It's actually not a bad guy. Not bad. 
Woo. Get him in there. Nice. In the All right, fish on. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, so right in front of Wilbur Dam here, another beautiful rainbow. Let's go ahead and let him go. He's ready. Woo. All right. This isn't hitting, then there's no reason to hang around. Yeah. Oh, there you go. oh my gosh. Got him. Nice. Oh, that's ironic. <laughs> It's a brown trout. Whoa, first brown trout out of there. Not a bad one either. Oh. And it's the first brown trout I've caught out of fish in a barrel. And because that's so awesome and he had such a great place to hang out, let's toss him right back up in there, okay? There oh, we nice. go, there we go. Oh, bob her down, here we go. There he, is. he got him. There he oh, is. <laughs> yeah. Rainbow. <laughs> that was awesome. So. Denied the first time, he kept coming back. Fish on, Chris has got his first one. Top of the lip. That's right, nice clean uh, hook set. Simple release. Simple release. Oh boy. Well, if he holds it for more than about five seconds like that, just set it. Fish on, let's go. Oh, what's he got? A brown. Okay, so today we've gotten two browns. Oh man, this is interesting. Check out this brown. We'll do the old float by, because I right. am on the move. He's moving, but man, that's a beauty. Let's go ahead and do a nice release right here. And he's off. Next, so, oh no, oh no, it's down. Oh no, did you get him? Fish on. Oh, brown, the brown. <laughs> Rounds are up in here today. Let's go. Well, that hurts. Oh. You got him on your, you got him right now? Excellent. I'm coming. Yeah. Woo, he's got a nice brown. Look at the dent in the side of him there. Yeah, man, that's some injury, man. Who knows what that did? That looks like an injury. Oh, no! Well, there he goes. <laughs> and, that, and that's all she wrote there. Uh, but, man, that was nice. Right under that tree there. Okay. Man, my GoPro is glitching today bad. It has, it has cut off on me twice. I may have missed that last fish, too. Oh, fish on. There you go, there you go. Did you get him? Yes, rainbow. yes, sir. Get it on in there. There you go. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, missed him. Oh, missed him. All right, people. I just missed one right in there. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. There it is. You got him that time, guys. That like Woo! Took a little drag at first. He's not. He's fighting. He's a fighter, man. He's diving. I think it's a rainbow. Oh, brown. oh, little brown. Little brown diving hard. That was cool. All right, you guys, here's the nice little brown. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. That's always a crowd favorite. That's right, the double. We need it. All right, ready? All right, people. We're fishing for the double. Between me and Chris, we're probably both going to catch one here. Actually, we're just being very cocky right now, but it's, it's possible. Could happen. There it is, there it is. Yep, got him. Double. Doubled. Double <laughs> we called it, man. Oh, I, got a nice one. I do too. I've, got a, really I've nice. got a really nice brown. Do you too? I've got a really nice rainbow. No way. I'm not even kidding, like 12 inches. Dude, let's go. And same here, same here with mine. It's a nice brown. I gotta get the net. Oh, get him. Oh, you've got a really nice one. Yeah. I'm gonna come over yeah, to you. Here we can get it. Can get this could be like the thumbnail, you know? You never know. All right, so I'll hold we'll mine up here. Up later. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it goes, man. <laughs> there it goes, okay. No no problem, all right, let me turn. This is my best fish of the day, guys, but I want you to notice the reds on this, guys. What a beautiful fish. It's insane, yeah. So this was a really nice guy to catch. Let's go ahead and give him another release right here as well. Nice. <laughs> all right, and then where, thank you. I've, I've untangled you. Appreciate it. All right, let's get some more right here. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Chris is on and uh, he's been working on that fish for a long time I don't know if that's the one that's been stealing everybody's stuff but I believe so. 
trout under the tree. That's right, it's the tree trout right under there. You need something slow on the surface, real, real slow on the surface. Um, and they'll all get them. Did you get them? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I just got hit too. Nice, you did. You got both. Let's see if he comes back for him. Oh, this is a nice trout. Did you get a good one? Is that a rainbow? Yeah. Oh, he's getting chased, guys. I've been getting some healthy ones today. Oh, yeah, he's eating. He's getting eaten. He's getting eaten. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for it to get in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Got him. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Another double? Another double. Yeah. Another double. I got a brown. You got a rainbow. Oh, this guy has a giant hook down his throat. That's not good. Oh, let's get that out. Yeah, I've got a pair of pliers here. Heck yeah. Well, good. Let's, uh, yeah, do a little dental work. I did bring a... Oh, look at that, man. Did you get it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How did he even live? That is like a size nine hook. <laughs> giant hook. Here's a nice little brown trout for you. Super fun. Go ahead and let him go. He's off. Were you able to get yours fixed up? Oh yeah. Cool. All right, you guys. So there is a fish that I missed in this pocket, literally on my last video. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So we're gonna pitch it back in there. See if we can catch him this time. So exactly where it went down the other day. So I know it's a nice spot for fish. And let's see if we can catch something right here here we he goes he's getting bit he's getting bit just gotta wait for it to go under guys got him there we go awesome guys nice little rainbow oh yeah good good fight got him right on the lip wow a lot of color on this one holy cow check it out you guys beautiful beautiful rainbow next to this big rock cliff that was awesome and let him go. There oh, there we go. What do we got? I think it's a rainbow, yeah. Nice. I'm going back in. Yes, sir. One of us is going to catch this guy. <laughs> One of us will get him. Or them. It could be multiple in there. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's running right now. I think he's... Got him. Nice. Yep. There we go. Nice rainbow. Okay, he almost got away. Check out this rainbow, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and let him go. All right, people. We just had a really nice day out here uh, next to Wilbur Dam. We worked our way over to the uh, fish in a barrel spot starting out. Caught a few fish. Uh, then we kind of floated our way down, hit that little lagoon over there kept floating down and we just had a lot of fun today caught a lot of fish um so overall pretty good day chris what any main takeaways from today i think it's just hook set hook, hook okay set is just it's a big deal <laughs> it is yeah so <laughs> hook set's a big deal so i think let me summarize a little bit from that a lot of times i'll miss a fish because I'll, i leave slack in my line yeah, okay absolutely. and uh, i'm just not paying attention to that slack so when that bobber starts to dance i get ready to hook set Go for the hook set. Just get a little too excited. So the big takeaway is pay attention to your line. Make sure it's nice and tight so when that bobber goes under or that float goes under, you're ready to set the hook. So good takeaway. We had a couple doubles today. We had a lot of fun. Enjoyed it, sir? Absolutely. Always uh, a good time. Absolutely. So I'm sure I'll be seeing Chris out on the water. He's always out fishing and doing stuff. So if you see him, say hi. And uh, of course, guys, please like and subscribe if you're interested in following along on my weekly adventures. Until then, tight lines. Yeah. <laughs>